need a new. The journal thing is strange because it's more fun to toy around, but I realize it's not the ASMR that some folks might come to look for. The whole ASMR thing is something that I'm really thankful to have found, but sometimes when everyone's going upstream, and a few recognizable ways I feel like I'm not. I feel like that's okay because I keep doing it, but how are you doing? I hope, well, I hope you're out there surviving and perhaps even thriving. I could be wrong. It seems like people are reaching out for something when they watch ASMR. They're looking for something or maybe that's just me. A lot of folks take to the gentle voice stuff while others watch videos of tapping and stuff, mic, cover, scratching. I've done all that in my earlier videos, trying to find myself, I guess, in this new arena. Back to you. How are you? Feel free to pause now and speak. As a kid, I listened to a lot of cassette tapes, a lot of play, rewind, stop. Literally. Literally, this is my for real, for real, final try and a plane overhead. Not that you can hear it, I guess, but I can, and it's a little disrespectful, you know, planes um, flying around in this world when I'm busy trying to talk to you. It's been a number of days since my last chat at this microphone, and I'm wondering how you are. I'm okay. I'm okay. Sometimes saying the phrase, I'm okay, helps you feel like it's true. And other times, rougher times, it feels like a cover-up lie bandage for a bleeding wound that is your internal situation, your suffering. That's unfortunate, because if people ask you how you're doing, my hope has always been that they actually care about you if they ask, hey, how are you? I really wish that people would mean it. A number of times I've just been so glad to get that question that I over spill my purse on their nice shoes, mostly nice shoes, and sometimes the people, they walk away in quiet horror or discomfort at my overshare, like it cost them more than a few seconds of their lives. I know we only have so many, so if you're going to walk away, I get it. But I wish this place, this world, was a little different. I wish we genuinely cared just a smidge more. And when people say, how are you? I wish they'd mean it. Some do. It's kind of a gamble, kind of a game though. You don't know. You don't know who means it until you watch.
watch their eyes glaze or their attention divert or their phones come out of their pockets, then you know. No one deserves to be forced into playing therapist. You've got your own problems and your own stuff. But dang it, if you ask, how are you? I feel like you had better be wearing protection. A thought vomit bulletproof vest, perhaps. Because someone might just need to talk. And you might have volunteered if you were off-handed. I are you? And here we go, and suddenly someone is just telling you how they are. I think it comes down to sincerity. Tough to imagine a bad thing beginning with sin, but old sincerity... It's kind of a sharp, two-edged thing, isn't it? If you're sincere, you risk being hurt. And if you're not, you're kind of deceiving people. And everyone feels like they have to do that, right? They have to play this game in their lives, in their heads, in their chests, where some of us believe God lives. And yet we still comply to the rules of this game, where I say something... You say something, I nod, you nod or go, eh, don't you dare shake your head and disagree, but also don't you dare say anything too complex in agreement. Don't disagree too hard and don't agree too hard, just be eh. Some people grow up in households like that, you know, don't say anything to mom or dad, they're having a bad, good, weird, strange, stressful day, and they can only handle so much. I've been that person too. Mm, don't hit me with too much. I might, I don't know, throw up, cry, explode. That sucks. I don't want to be that way. I don't think you do either. Probably you wish for a little more sincerity in the world if you're watching me instead of eight bazillion other things you might care more about humans being humans instead of pre-programmed robot things or even better humans being reflections of the designer that made us in the special way that they did and us being a reflection of the divine be cool, wouldn't it? Us having a purpose innately, instinctively, immediately, by believing in something beyond ourselves. God being part of us. something else gives us an innate reflection, some kind of reason for being here, more than just to rob and steal from each other in tribal packs, but we can take anything, turn it into a tool, and abuse it, can't we? We can take any old thing given to us by God and we can convert it into either a weapon or a shield shackles to bind those around us to be the way we want them to be or to bind those we ignore so that they don't bother us in our day-to-day -day life. This isn't some straightforward presentation about the God-man conundrum slash connection. It's just something I think about every day. There 
are so many things out there in the world. The sincerity, kindness, the willingness to listen. We found a way to shoot a guy to the moon. It'd be cool if we could figure out how to be nice to each other. The world doesn't get nicer, does it? If everyone grows colder, we all have to start choosing to be different. The turn the other cheek idea. Turn the other cheek as best you can. People will notice. Not every time. So, in conclusion, let's all put our kindness dollar in. I hope to see you again. This is for you.